Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. The simplicity, the efficiency, and the quietness of alcohol burners make them very popular. And the stove we're looking at today is no exception. Stay tuned as we check out the Lixada Mini Titanium Alcohol Stove with Stand. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, this stove's design may look familiar to you if you have any experience searching for alcohol stoves or checking them out either on Amazon or on YouTube. It's essentially a larger and cheaper clone of the Tokes Siphon Titanium Stove. Let's take a look at it. I'll say Lixada is trying hard because even down to the material of the stuff sack, this is exactly what the Tokes stuff sack looks like. We'll get this bad boy out. Again, this is the stove with the folding pot stand. So we'll look at both. Here's our stove. Dimensions are 2.5 by 2.5 diameter, or 2.5 inches by 2.3. Weight is 1.5 ounces. It is made of titanium. Capacity states it is 100 milliliters. I don't know if you'll want to put that much fuel into it. Like I said, the model I got comes with this cross stand. The cross stand is actually very, very nice. Like a typical cross stand, you just put these together. The only difference is, is that this one has kind of like these little notches right here, and those notches really lock into this stove pretty well. So it's not gonna fall off, you know, it's, it's actually pretty good on there, as you can see. It works very well with this stove. Some stoves are designed to work with cross stands. Um, you will see in my video comparing this with the Tokes that the Tokes doesn't work as well with a cross stand, just FYI. Cross stand is 3.8 across and 1.5, so it's a 3.8 across as far as the diameter goes. The weight of the cross stand is 0.9 ounces. The total cost for both of these is a very impressive $17.99 on AliExpress plus a few bucks shipping. I ordered it and it took 11 days after ordering for it to get to me from China. It's on Amazon for about $30 if you don't want to wait. Really nice stove as you can see. Zoom y'all in a little bit, take a better look. Show you the, see it locks on there pretty good. So the inside, you can see the jets right there. This is basically a siphon type stove. Put the alcohol in there and it's got these little ports in here. It's siphon action comes up and it shoots out the jets. Let me show you guys how quickly it starts up, what the jets look like at night, and then we'll boil some water. Here we are with the Lixada alcohol stove with the cross stand. You'll see that it primes pretty quickly. There we go. There it goes, primed up very fast, like it always does. And you can see kind of that circular motion as it goes around the stove. Whoa, losing some focus there. There we go, I locked the focus. Maybe it'll work a little bit better. Very nice flame pattern with the Lixada Titanium Mini Burner. So a very impressive boil time of 6 minutes 28 seconds and a burn time of 8 minutes 24 seconds. What do I think about this stove? I have to be honest with you guys, I really like this stove. It seems to produce a tremendous amount of heat and it's very efficient. Let's talk a little bit about pros and cons. Pros, of course, first is its weight. It is super lightweight. It's well made, it's solid, and it has no moving parts. Cross stand fits it very well. It's super lightweight and it's very fast to prime. It's very quick to cool down and has a very nice and large fuel capacity. There are always gonna be cons, and I think anytime you don't have a built-in uh, pot stand or you need a pot stand, it's a con, even though I really like this particular cross stand. It's not the most fuel efficient because it is large and open design. There's no way to easily extinguish the flame in the field, and there's no way to store fuel in the stove. These are just basic properties of the type of stove that it is. But if you're comparing it to other stoves like the Trangia, which have a screw on top, it's definitely a con. Like I said at the beginning, this is essentially a larger and cheaper version of the Tokes Siphon Titanium Alcohol Stove. The fact that it's a copy of another stove is in itself a con, I guess, but we like to look at all types of stoves here, 
and I love looking at basically copycat stoves. And I actually bought this stove and afterwards bought the Tokes because I thought I need to compare these two stoves. Obviously that means we'll be having a head-to-head -head battle with the Tokes versus the Lixada. First we're going to have to do that Tokes review which will come up soon and then we'll take a look at how they stack up against each other. For the money and the weight it's hard to imagine a better alcohol stove if you're willing to carry a stand. Are there any other stoves you guys would like to see put up against this one? Let me know down below. I can make a video of this stove versus all the other stoves you guys want to see maybe down the road. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves. I love testing stoves and I have tested tons here in Arkansas during my filming trip. Really having a great time. Do me a big favor guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Really, really helps spread things across YouTube and helps the channel out tremendously. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, hit that notification bell. As always guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.